Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide and this is going to be the short installation instructions video for the users of MDO 2024. It's going to be divided into chapters that will guide you along so that you know exactly how to do which part. So let's go with chapter number one. And step number one in installation instructions will be to locate your download email. Upon purchasing My Daily Organizer or MMP, it doesn't matter, any product that you buy from mydeepguy.com, you should receive automatically a download email immediately as the purchase has been uh, made. And in a vast majority of cases, that is exactly how it goes. So you will get your receipt email and you will get your download email as well. In an unlikely uh, event that you do not receive that email, please do make sure to check out your junk or uh, spam emails because sometimes, for some reason, these emails can end up in uh, those folders. In very, very few cases, it happens that the download email will never reach. And that only happens if your email server is uh, has very strict rules because the download email does have a direct download link. So some email servers will prevent that and that's the thing that will probably block the download there. If you have checked your email and you're sure that you have not received it, uh, you can double check by simply typing my deep guide or my daily organizer in your search bar on your email client and see if you have an email or not. That's like the safest best bet to do. So if you can't find the uh, my daily organizer download email um, in your inbox or in your junk or in your spam folder, then please do write to me and send an email to mdo at mydeepguide.com and do include your order number so that I can find your order number and reissue the download email. In 99.9% of the cases, this is all that needs to be done and then you will receive your email and in special cases when even that doesn't work, we will find an alternative solution and I'll make sure that you get your product delivered to you. Alright, now you got your download email, you've located it, the only thing that you need to do is now to download the actual package and you do that by locating the download button that is in the email itself. Right next to the order summary, to the right of it, you will have a big download button which you click and that's what will download your product. The download link will be valid for 30 days automatically and after those 30 days uh, pass, that download link will no longer be valid so you will need to contact me and uh, request a reissuing of the download email so that you can get a new download uh, link that it will be valid for another 30 days. Step number three is to unzip the downloaded file. The downloaded file is going to be a .zip archive and that's basically simply a packaging format that minimizes the file size and it's a standardized delivery uh, archive format. So before you are able to actually use MDO, uh, you need to unpack that archive and that's called, there's a process called unzipping or unpacking an archive. And in order to do that, you can find the links in the description down below for each of the respective platforms, iOS, Android, uh, Windows and Mac OS. All of the steps for unzipping a file are located in the uh, video description down below. So please do uh, follow those links and you won't have any problems unzipping the downloaded archive. So you've located your download email, you have downloaded the zip package and you have unzipped the downloaded package. And now it's time to actually check out the contents. And because MDO 2024 has been simplified and the user interface is unified for all platforms, it's a very, very simple affair. And the only thing that you can choose from is basically two steps. Step number one, you can choose whether you want to use the Sunday start or the Monday start of uh, style of the calendar. And once you enter that folder, you will be presented with three files and those are the MDO 2024 cover one, two and three versions. Those are all the identical the document. There's no differences whatsoever between them. The only difference is the very first page or the cover page, which you can use to differentiate between using an MDO for business and for personal or for whatever it may be. And also to choose which cover you personally prefer. And finally, when you've located the versions or the version that you want to use, well, since it's a simple PDF file, then you can use the any method that you prefer to transfer the, that you normally would use to transfer your PDF files 
onto your device. Majority of the devices that you're using are either gonna have a combination of direct transfer via the USB cable, maybe a web uh, interface, or maybe a dedicated app. It doesn't matter because if it's uh, Remarkable Books, uh, Quaderno, um, Supernote, it, it all is covered and it's just a simple PDF file. So no installation required, nothing. It's a PDF file that you copy like any other file. The only thing that's really important to note at the time of making this video, as I mentioned in the MDO 2024 announcement video, currently there is an issue with the Amazon's send to Kindle service. It's currently not working for larger documents, not just MDO, any larger document. And I've done extensive testing uh, of that. For that, there's also a dedicated video that you can check out and see uh, in detail what I'm talking about. But yeah, unfortunately, at the moment of making this uh, video, the, the Amazon service is not functioning as it should. And unfortunately, because of the Amazon's, you know, boxed in uh, business method, that's the only way that you can actually transfer a file onto your Amazon Kindle Scribe, for example, um, because if you do do direct transfer, then that's a direct PDF file and which will work. But the Amazon Kindle Scribe doesn't support writing on PDF files, despite what their marketing says. So yeah, that, that's that's currently a complete mess. And unfortunately, there's like nothing that I can do about it if Amazon service simply isn't functioning. And that's that. So you've downloaded it, unzipped and transferred the version of MDO that you want to your uh, device. And now the only thing that's left is that you enjoy using My Daily Organizer 2024. If you have any following questions regarding My Daily Organizer, you can freely write to mdo at mydeepguide.com. Thank you so much for your purchase. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope that you do enjoy using MDO 2024. Bye.